Hi folks, this is Vicki from PatternPrincess.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful stitch called the Granny Spike Stitch. Um, I have some samples done here. This one here I've done in, in a uh, white, in a red, and a green. And you can see how when you do the spike stitch, it goes into the row before and it just creates a lovely um, look, I think. It's just, um, this is done in two rows of each, each one was Granny's uh, Spike Stitch. And so this is how it looks with two rows. This here, I used a variegated yarn to do the spike stitch on top. And of course the um, off white here to do the other. And it's one, two, three, four rows of, five rows of each color. And um, it doesn't show up as well, only when you change the colors. So this is probably um, a stitch you'd wanna do, you know, maybe two rows, three, four, you know, maybe four or five rows, depending on how wide you want your colorings to look in between. But I just think it's a beautiful stitch to work with. And it it just, I love how the colors come down into the next, um, the row before. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. Um, this stitch is worked in multiples of four plus one. That means, for instance, my sample here, um, stitches is 17 stitches long. That means it's multiples of four. So 16 divided by four is four um, or it could you know anything uh, multiplied by four it could even be 20 plus one so 16 plus one is 17 or it could be like 20 plus one is 21 um, you know anything that's multiplied by four plus one so that's how you determine how wide um, your project's going to be and your stitches will work out so the and it's once you get the first um, three rows going you're going to repeat row three throughout the pattern so to set it up um, I, like I said, I've done 17 stitches here and I'm just using some Red Heart um, yarn today. I've just done some scraps of yarn. Today my hook size is a J because I wanted a little bit bigger to um, be able to show you the stitches. So um, in the fifth chain from the hook, we're going to do three double crochets. So remember, we don't count that chain that's on the hook. So it's one, two, three, four. So in the, this fifth chain right here, we're going to do three double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook pull through, insert my hook, pull through two loops, and pull through the next two loops. I'm going to do this two more times right in that same loop. This is the double crochets. And then one more time is my three double crochet. Whoops, and my yarn just got tangled. Here we go. Sometimes when I un unravel the yarn like this, it'll, um, it'll end up tangling up on me as I'm trying to show you folks. Instead of sitting on the couch where I'm comfortable doing this, <laughs> So then what, uh, what we do next is we chain one, and then we're going to skip three. So one, two, three. And in that fourth chain, we're going to do three double crochets again. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, and do my three double crochets. So there's one. Two and three. And that hole looks a little bit big right now because it's pulling and stretching, but it seems to like, um, you know, as you can see, it seems, it seems to close up later. So we're going to chain one, and again, we're going to skip three. One, two, three. So in the fourth one, we're going to do three double crochets. And of course, that's what you do across the whole thing until you get to the other side. But we're almost there because I have a short little swatch for you. And then one more double crochet. Okay, so now we have four left. So when you have four left, you're going to skip the three, and in that last stitch, you're just gonna do two double crochet. So here we go, two double crochet, one. Oopsies, I'm sorry, stop. We have to do our chain one first, chain one. <laughs> And then in that last stitch, two double crochet. I was so busy making sure that I was telling you about the last four that I forgot to do that chain one. Okay, so then our foundational row is done. Okay, so to recap, we had 17 chains to start with. In the fifth chain from the hook, we worked three double crochet. Then in the, every fourth chain, then we worked three double crochet. And then in the fourth chain, we did our last two double crochet. Now we're going to turn it, we're onto row two. I wanna make sure that I have enough yarn here. So row two, we're going to chain two. One, two. Yarn over, 
And then in that chain one space in the previous row, we're going to work one double crochet. Okay, yarn over. Then in the very first row, we had the chains in the first row. In the middle chain, because we skipped those um, stitches, in that middle chain right here, this is the middle chain, we're going to yarn over, we've already yarned over, we're going to put our hook in that middle chain and grab the yarn, bring it up through, and I like to make it just a little bit loose. I pull it loose a little bit loose, put my hook through the two, and hook through the two. That way it, it pulls it up a little bit, but there's also that give once I get that next one done. Then I'm going to yarn over, and then in that in that chain one space, so if I hadn't, so just like I did the first one in the chain one space, this next one I went to that lower row, this one here I'm just going to go back into that chain one space again and complete a double crochet. Then you chain one and then I'm going to skip all these three. So we're going to be working all the time now in that chain one space. So double crochet, yarn over, go to that row below in that chain one space, in that cha middle chain space, yarn over, bring it through, get a little bit loose and go through two loops, two loops. And then and again in that chain one space, the same chain one space, yarn over and do a double crochet. I'm going to stop a moment and just show you folks. So hopefully you can see where this one here, I've gone down in between on that in the middle stitch, I've gone down to that bottom one. The other two are still being worked inside of that chain one space. So we've just got one more to go here and then we have our end of a roll and then I'm going to change color. And then I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better as I go down into the row before. Um, so I'm going to chain one. So I'm going to do it again, double crochet. Double crochet, and then I'm going to go to that row below, that middle stitch right here in that row below. And it seems like at first, um, when you first set this up, you know, your yarn kind of wants to go everywhere a little bit like this. But once you get going and you have some substance to your um, whatever you're making, it seems to hold a lot better. It comes together a lot better. So we go our chain one. Now, in row two, when we end row two, we're going to go to the top stitch of that um, when we when we had our initial um, chain spaces and we started in that fifth one we're going to do a um, two double crochet on top this chain stitch right here we're going to do two double crochet on top of here that beginning chains right here and then another one and then you have your second row done and I'm going to snip my yarn here because I'm going to show you how to do a color change. And I think, like I said, I think you're going to be able to see it a little bit easier with this color change. So let me show you how this is done. So I'm going to bring the yarn in. I turn this over and I bring the yarn in like this, bring it through the hole. And then I pull this yarn tight and I get both tails. And I just hold them taut while I start my stitches out and to start off the third row and this is the row that you're going to repeating the, be repeating the rest of the way okay so to start off the third row you're going to do chain two one two just like you did the last row yarn over and again in that chain one space do a double crochet yarn over and then now here you're going to go into the middle stitch down here through both loops on the top of the stitch you bring your yarn through, make it a little bit looser so it's a little bit more even. And then back in that same spot where you're still working in that chain one space, do another double crochet. And then chain one, your double crochet. And then again, we're going to go down into this row before and go through both loops. Bring over through your yarn, loosen it up just a smidge. And once you get the hang of doing this, you can go, um, well, you can go pretty fast at going going through it here, but I want to make sure that I'm able to show you folks what I'm doing. So, and do we go ahead and chain again, and we're going to do it one more time. Double crochet, and then make sure that we go on the, uh, the loops before, the row before, bring it up so it's a little bit even, and then a double crochet, and then we're going to hold tight 
I had a knot in my yarn, I'm sorry. So we're going to chain one, and then in the top stitch of your beginning um, chain two, go through the loops, and we're going to do two double crochet. And again, every row that you do is this row here. But now you can see, as I've changed color, you can see how pretty that's starting to look. Let me get this to lay out flat and all these extra strings out of here. You don't need all these extra strings, it'll look prettier. But um, I made a scarf out of red and green and white and I thought it just turned out pretty. And um, I'm gonna be making something else. I'd made a pillow I actually out of these colors here, but I went um, every two rows, I changed the color and that turned out really pretty. And I'll be having the patterns on my website for that soon. So here's the granny stitch. Doesn't it look pretty coming down into the row before? And then I'd do another row to red. And of course this one here, see you can tell, this is where I did um, the red and then I did the green on top of it and the white and I could just keep going. So I just think it's a beautiful stitch. I hope that you will enjoy making some projects out of the spike granny stitch yourself. And thank you again for watching. And please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Take care and have a wonderful day.